بازد از تو کهیتا ای ام اندر گراند از هر تا دیتایم این مای اکزاک لوکیشن نوویک دیو کپی بیز کم این I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. of water probably unsafe for consumption I'd rather not risk it meteoric waters no no shit let's hope it's not fossil Visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. to me. Surface. 
I'm not going anywhere until you explain how you found me. Then I guess you'll die because I refuse to waste time on explanations. Your choice, yes, man. Asshole. Something. I can't stand this dreadful silence. Silence is harmless. You shouldn't be afraid of it. Unlike other things. I'm not afraid. I'm just tired. Don't play tough. If you're not scared at all, you've lost your mind already. Your situation, to put it mildly. Fails to instill optimism. Oh, what were you thinking, really? I warned you against opening your helmets, let alone giving all your oxygen to a dead man. A complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism. Gorski isn't dead. That's why I left him my damn tank. Yeah, you might as well be. Do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? Slow down. I need to rest. Uh, rest is for the dead. <clears throat> I've had enough. I just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster, Yasna. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. All right, yes, no. Have it your way. Oh, shut up, Crowther. <laughs> and here I thought you didn't like Silas. Anyway, it's over. He did everything he could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. No. No, not over. I haven't given up yet. Can you walk? Yeah. Probably. I just need to catch my breath. Hmm. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Okay. I'm getting up. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. Do you see this? 
Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. Finally, we have proof. There was life on the land. After all, millions of years ago. Uh, is it really such good news? Because now, not even bacteria or viruses. If the extinction happened as a result of a close supernova, organisms in the depths of the oceans would have a chance of survival. Gorski even mentioned that Lyrazita was a nova. Yeah, but we ruled that out, remember? After such an incident, traces of radiation would be detectable to this day. Meanwhile, ground activity is extremely low for this area of the galaxy. Anyway, do you honestly believe that evolution will not continue to advance after all those millions of years? Well, there will be no vertebrates, but primitive coastal forms, <sighs> definitely. Exactly. Yet someone or something is preventing them from moving ashore. Even more skeletons. Annoyingly now, there are no comms. Nobody will know of this discovery if we get stuck here. Relax. The old man will send another expedition. And they will find those bones, along with ours. Thanks. For a moment there, I forgot how screwed I was. Good that you reminded me. Maybe your situation would be better if you didn't stop to admire the fossils. Now you sound like Novik. <laughs> Too shame. Speaking of Novik, why do you give him such a hard time? Do you really need to ask? The old man sits safely in all of it until we care to end up reporting, as if we weren't fighting for our lives here. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Novik cares about people more than protocols. Uh, if so, he must love us dearly, because he sure does love protocols. Crowter? Yeah? Are you really here with me? Of course. We all are. You have distinct memory traces of us. You know, in your brain. That's not what I'm asking about. I know, but there's no definitive answer. We can only hope that you won't forget us when it's all over. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Crowther. I, I really don't. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall? Uh, it doesn't matter. <sighs> hey, where did you go? <clears throat> I can't go with you anymore. Crowder? Forgive me for my rudeness. I had to be a prick to pull you out of there. Unfortunately, now my body is made of coal, empty water, and nitrogen, and empty hearts. Like the farewell, this is not our farewell, but so I should tell you, it was an honor to serve with you. I... I'm here. Over. Finally! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir? I saw Crowter. Yes, sir. Are you saying... What? Oh. Uh, I don't quite understand myself. All right. 
Let's leave that for now. Are you interested in anyway? No. As usual, I came up. Are you there? Do you copy? Uh, what the? What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And, and I was marching with these kind of crab legs. <laughs> you must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. Well, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not. Any progress? Do you still have a visual on the object? I seem to be in luck. It behaves as if it's searching for something. And completely ignores me. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. I wonder what it's looking for. And why is it shooting at these structures? In my opinion, we're dealing with a defective model. If the Alliance have been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone antiman to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. And yet, it's as loose as it can be. I can see a passage. But it doesn't look very... inviting. Oh. <sighs> Anyway. Shit! What? It's still here. I have to... I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. for good. Cursed crab. Oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. flatter me. Probe. It... it distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Oh, 
not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its call. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Esther. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. I'm not down here. to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, not good. I simply don't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I don't know now. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Oh, and how am I supposed to feel? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So you know. Gorski's oxygen jump didn't come out of nowhere, and your saturation is dropping. So, how are you feeling? I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. He even participated in them. I had a long and tiring conversation with him. Oh, damn it! The storm's getting worse. Please don't ask for details. Oxygen tank. Ah, of course. Why can't you get that? Rescue kit is a 
central in all vehicles, even the alliances. And better. Yes. Oh, that's what I needed. Time to hit the road. Engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet. Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge into the ground. Everything will be fine. You'll see. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. Well, there was a miscalculation, and we crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand, it's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. 
Bingo. Emmets are equipped with the black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, they must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. Have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Uh, same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. Best to sleep through the night. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? Maybe I'll fall asleep if we talk. Naturally. Do you have anything specific in mind? Well, I'd love to know some official secrets about the Alliance base. The reason they're interested in this desiccated, bizarre planet that is Regis Three. Are you implying that I should know these secrets? Yes. I think you're hiding something from me, sir. And at this stage of the mission, I lack both the strength and the inclination to beat around the bush. In that case... Let me reveal something I should never say as a commander. I have no idea what's going on on this desiccated, fossilized egg. I don't know where the Alliance forces came from, why they came, or what they're doing here. But since we lost contact with the camp, I've had the feeling that I am deep in the dark. Yeah, me too. Quite literally. So I suggest we talk about something else, instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one, and a personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. Remembering childhood memories when we first heard about the brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, 
not a nice sounding memory that never happened. I'd never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space. Although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I... Not good. Don't get a break. Wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Bully? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... is yes sir oh, I'm here well done that should buy us some time so how should we continue you need more time to rest i do but there's no way i'm going to sleep now besides nothing's stopping me anymore the storm has subsided all right let's not risk evacuating directly from the city should be safer outside its perimeter i took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe all you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal so should i go back to the ship that's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator, the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but I didn't say anything because the picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. said it looks good clear opening flat terrain excellent please go there while i prepare the lander i'll just pack artie inside
So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago. And that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. I'm about to head out to the desert area. Has a lander taken off? Yes, a second ago. Threshold of 18,000. <sighs> the line's breaking up. Can you hear me? <laughs> What's happening? Just a sec. I have to get off. It, it hasn't yet pierced a cloud cover. There it is. Oh, no. They're flying too fast. It's going to... I don't know. All I see is a thick plume of smoke. But considering the speed it hit the ground at, I, I... don't understand how it happened. I checked it thoroughly. It's fully functional. Couldn't have been an accident. I don't believe it. I'm gonna check what's left of it. like nothing happened and forget about my little nervous breakdown splendid no yes sir i'm not forgetting anything oh so you'll put it in the report sir that's not what i meant
seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You felt tired yesterday. Because I am tired, Astrogator. <sighs> Something's left of Artie. Ah, good. So there's a chance we can extract key information from it. Somehow it still looks active. Ask him what happened to the Landite. Ask? He doesn't speak. But he gives yes or no signals. Give him the analysis command. Formulate questions in such a way so that he can confirm or deny. RT, question analysis command. Did an enemy missile hit Hopper? Uh, no. It wasn't a missile. Maybe it's a storm? Some error. Apparently, he can't give a definitive answer. Damn! It shorted out. So, what now? Then you must go to the Alliance camp. I wanted to avoid it at all costs, but we have no choice. This is your only chance. It's all because of this goddamn planet. I bet the Alliance is sick of it too. Let's hope so. And I don't see this out of hostility. If they were in trouble, they might be more cooperative. They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, now. Yes? Even if you're absolutely right, and this planet is to blame, that doesn't make the Alliance our allies. We must be careful when dealing with them. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. I will be cautious. Like always. You must understand that I have no other choice. The people of the Alliance are my last hope for help. I know, Doctor. I know. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that.